Age-related muscle loss is known as sarcopenia. It can lead to weakness, stiffness, and an increased risk of falls and fractures. But at what age do we start losing muscle? The surprising answer to this is after the age of 30. After the age of 30, you begin to lose as much as 3 to 5% of your muscle per decade. And most men will lose about 30% of their muscle mass during their lifetime. Women lose slightly less. The positive news is that you can avoid, delay, and even reverse this muscle loss in old age. And here are four evidence-based strategies to keep you strong, get you stronger, reduce your falls risk, reduce your risk of fractures, and maintain your independence and quality of life. The first strategy is to increase your protein intake. Older men often experience a phenomenon known as anabolic resistance which lowers the body's ability to break down and synthesize protein. A recent study in the journal Nutrients suggests a daily intake of 1 to 1.3 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight for older adults who do resistance training. For example, a 200-pound man would need about 90 to 118 grams of protein per day. The following foods are your classic sources of protein. Meat, fish, eggs, milk, beans, lentils, cottage cheese, and tofu are some examples. The next strategy is PRT, progressive resistance training. Resistance training will help you to hold onto your muscle or even increase it. As researchers in this review found out with a total of 1,328 participants, male and female, over 49 different studies, and their age ranges between 50 and 83. The subjects averaged a 2.4 pound increase in lean muscle mass. So here's what you need to do. Eight to 10 exercises that target all the major muscle groups. Sets of 12 to 15 repetitions performed at an effort of about five to seven on a 10 point scale. And you only need to do two to three workouts per week. If you were to find this plan too easy, then you can increase the intensity and the effort that you put into each session. Now the third strategy is a simple daily walk. It's no secret that walking is good for your health. The simple routine of a daily brisk walk for 30 minutes or more is one of the best health investments you can make. Walking has been shown to reduce back pain, improve balance, and help our brain and mental health. The final strategy is sleep. Having a regular pattern of adequate sleep will help you have enough energy for regular exercise, including the two to three resistance training sessions that we mentioned at the start of this video. When we age, it can be more difficult to achieve quality sleep. Keep a regular routine, have a relaxing environment, and try to leave the phone out of the bedroom. If you want to know more about sleep, I recommend this book by Matthew Walker. If you've got any other recommendations for good sleep, please pop them in the comments. So in conclusion, as we age, strengthening exercises can reverse some of the negative effects of aging. Protein intake may become more important and simple habits like walking and a good sleep routine will help to keep you healthy for longer. You've been watching the Physio channel. Please share this video with anybody who you know may find it helpful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in one of these next videos.